for manager. And then for custodial, it's much less significant than manager. That's what the interaction is testing. They can all be statistically significant, and you can still have an interaction effect. It's just the interaction is just saying that the magnitude of the effect is even bigger across one or more of the categories in comparison to one or more of the other categories. And in this case, we would certainly think that the manager versus custodial difference is, is really huge. But whether the manager versus clerical difference is, is statistically significant in terms of an interaction, we don't know. We'd actually have to test that with another, uh, with a 2x2 two two ANOVA. And if I have time, I'll actually I'll try that out. Something I want to do, though, first is what people actually do is they, is they test their ANOVA, as I've, their factorial ANOVA, as I've done. But they then follow it up not with these interactions, which I've just estimated with the addition of this term in the syntax, probably because people don't know it exists. What they do is they actually they specify their levels and they just do a series of t-tests instead. And I can show you how to do that quickly. Uh, is, um, you would um, split your file across uh, select, not select cases, I want to just split it instead. Uh, split file and I want to compare groups, and I want to compare them across employment category. Okay. And now I'm going to do a series of t-tests between males and females across each level of job category. Compare males and females on current salary, but I, and I've already split the file, so I'm going to get uh, an, F, an, F, uh, an analysis for each one. And we can see the means here. These are the means. This is how people would follow up their ANOVA. And we can see that the homogeneity tests are almost all significant. Well, they're significant for clerical. But what's important here is look at the significance la le levels. They're actually fairly, they're uh, very different. We don't get T values or F values in the ANOVA way of doing this unfortunately but I'll look at the p values instead and we can see that the p values for um manager say it's it's done a t test and it's found that managers uh, uh, rather males and females differ at the manager level with a t of 2.87 and a significance of 0 0.005, and if we don't assume homogeneity of variance, it's p equal 0 0.000036. But in the ANOVA, the GLM approach, where we add the extra uh, syntax term using this procedure, this is the significance level we get. It's actually more significant using it this way because there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven zeros and a one. But in this case, we've got one, two, three, four, five. There's only five zeros and then a three. So it's actually more, in this case, at least for the managers, it was more powerful to do it in the pairwise comparison. And the reason why it's different is because the pairwise comparison is still operating in the estimated marginal mean mode. When, whereas this, using a series of t-tests, isn't. It's actually using the, the quote-unquote real means. Now, which approach is the most appropriate? I think that's a subject for debate, probably. Uh, I suspect uh, you're more defensible doing it this way because you first have to do your ANOVA to find out that it's statistically significant in order to follow it up with a series of comparisons if you want to have some level of protection in your post hoc tests. Um, now, you could have done some Bonferroni corrections here instead and just got straight into it. Uh, anyway, I. I'm not saying I know the solution to this problem. Nobody really does. Uh, I'm just pointing out the different ways that you can do these analyses in SPSS to um, uncover your main effects and your interaction effects, and that when you have unequal sample sizes, there's some pretty big differences. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is that you have an interaction here. There is a statistically significant interaction. And then we followed that up with a series of pairwise comparisons and t-tests 
And we found statistical significance across all 